Paralogue 1 is a really cool map that uses the block mechanic that was in Chapter 13. Except this time, the map design is actually good. The map has four Lancers as green units that I want to protect. For keeping all of them alive, my reward is a Draco Shield, a Physics Staff, and a Friendship Seal. The only one I actually need is the Friendship Seal, but the others are a very nice bonus that I don't want to pass up on. Last map I mentioned that I wanted to keep the use of the second arm scroll a mystery. Well, now I'll reveal that that arm scroll will go to Odin. I'm going to make him a master of arms on this map, because if I'm going to be using him long term, I want him to actually be good. The reason why he gets the arm scroll instead of bronze weapons is because he really wants to be able to use vengeance on this map, and it saves a lot of money. Everyone starts by going at the very edge of their movement range. Everyone needs to be able to get into the middle as soon as possible before the enemies reach the Lancers first. Kagero and Selina are going to drop Odin and Hinata one tile forwards. This lets them go past the woods tiles a lot more easily next turn. How shall we proceed? Odin, Hinata, and Baruka are all going to help out the bottom right Lancer for now. Odin is going to cover the bottom side where a hero and sorcerer will attack, and Hinata will cover the right side where a bunch of berserkers will be. You have my support. Setsuna goes in the middle to drop Laszlo in movement range of Soleil, so she can be recruited next turn. Obero goes in range of all three berserkers pursuing the top left Lancer. She's able to kill all of them on enemy phase with the dual Naginata. Is that all you got? Let's go. Obero has been hitting her gross like crazy. I believe she's 6 points ahead of her speed average. Obero flies back to let Kaze take out the two mages and hero that are on the choke point below them. Kaze can one round all of them with the help from Obero, the Mess Hall, and a tonic. Fare thee well. Corrin is able to meet up with Baruka, so she isn't completely defenseless for this map. She'll then go help out Odin's side next turn. Odin goes right next to the Lancer. This is mainly so he can move a little further in a different direction next turn. Hinata's job for this entire map is to hold the killing edge and win. Huh? 
Laszlo recruits Soleil. He then pairs up with her so he can move to the piece of rubble and pick it up. Oh, looky! An enemy! Setsuna then takes it, equips the dual Yumi, and then places it in front of her. She's going to be facing the enemy sorcerers on the other side of those buildings. Step up a lip. Jacob's job is to grab the second piece of rubble. He's not going to need it for himself, but he's going to be able to pass it off to someone who does need it. All right, let's go. This one's for you. I can't lose. All right. To me. I have no idea what causes it, but sometimes the hero near these sorcerers will help out in attack stance, and sometimes it won't. Either way, I have pretty decent odds at surviving this. Victory! Victory! Since Odin is too weak to continue fighting here, Bruka comes in to cover for him. Odin moves back towards the center of the map so he can get healed by Jacob. Setsuna and Laszlo are going to kill the hero that's approaching the center. Let's go! Jacob moves all the way forward and heals Odin in the process. Well, how irksome. Hanata goes in range of the bow knights. This is risky because there's a killer bow and one with poison strike, but he has a better chance at surviving than he does at dying. Kaze moves to the edge of his range so he can kill off two of the sorcerers and a dark knight before they can get close to the lancer. He has just the right amount of resistance to bait out the sorcerers into attacking him. I got very lucky with his growths. It had to be done.
I am at your service. Setsuna needs healing, so Jacob does exactly that. He first gives her the obstacle, though. Setsuna doesn't actually want the obstacle. Laszlo is the one who wants it, since he'll go back up to help out the Lancer with the enemy hero he's fighting. Then he's gonna block off that route so no enemy can get past the bottom left corner. Let's end this here. Odin heads north to help out with the top left side. Kazi and Obero can't do it all by themselves. Must I restrain my- Bruka is gonna eventually help out Hinata with his bow knight problem that he's created. Let's finish this. Kazi has too much resistance for these Dark Knights in particular, so they will never initiate combat with him. Blocking this choke point will make the Dark Knight instead start going for the top right Lancer instead. Odin simply heals himself up. Setsuna and Jacob are going to work on the enemies spawning at the very bottom of the map. It's all heroes and sorcerers, which are no match for them. Laszlo sets down the second obstacle two spaces away from the Lancer. This makes it so not even the sorcerers can attack the Lancer, and this whole side of the map is completely closed off while I work on other things. Kaze is too weak to keep fighting, so Obero instead kills off the last Dark Knight. This gives her weapon triangle disadvantage against Berserkers, but they won't attack her either way. 
Odin is now the one to block the choke point and kills the berserker that fought Kaze on the last turn. Everyone else keeps working on their respective enemies. You have my support. Since Odin is using a sword, he has a pretty good chance at surviving this enemy phase. He's also able to kill the heroes if he procs vengeance. With Jacob killing this hero, the entire bottom left is done and safe. Everyone down there can now start helping out other areas. I've got your back. Laszlo was safe to take one round of combat against these sorcerers on the other side of this blockade, so I let him do so. I won't let you down. Odin and Obero take care of the last of the enemies in the northwest. They'll be able to take care of the northeast next turn. We're gonna win! Let's see what you've got. I can protect you. I can. Oh. Hey, that's <laughs> <laughs> Here I am. Can I help? Not a chance. I will. I don't want Hinata fighting the enemies just yet, since I don't trust his abilities to safely fight the sorcerers. I instead let Baruka keep fighting them while Hinata heals himself. All right, come on. Obero flies over to pick off one of the heroes pursuing the Lancer. Odin has full guard gauge and is able to get in range of one of the heroes. This ensures that the Lancer can only be attacked from the front side of the enemies. This will almost ensure its safety. 
there's still a crit chance. Let's end this here. Be careful. So bored. The rest of this is very easy cleanup duty. I have more than enough units to take out the remainder. I am Fate's accomplice! Left Unquenchable blood blade! <laughs> Overdid it. Again. We're gonna win! I'll protect you! I'll support you. I've got your back! All that's left now is to pick off the enemies on the other side of this blockade. The safest thing to do is kill off all the 1-2 range units first, then remove the obstacles and kill the rest of the enemies with little to no effort. I spend a while doing this, so I'm gonna be speeding this part up. I will mention before I head off though, that during the sequence, Odin does get Vantage. I would argue that if I made him a Swordmaster right now, he could actually pull it off better than Hinata especially since he has access to things like Malefic Aura Leaven Sword and Heartseeker. Might be a thought. Rely on me. Let's go.
Soleil. <laughs> Thank you.